So, one man bands. Hey, what's going on, man? You want to know why Lou uh, isn't here to make picks on the new NXT show uh, coming up? Mm, why? Because when it comes to predictions, he can't stand and deliver. Welcome, everyone, to TFS Pod. I'm not here with 24-7 Lou. This is Rick Hard talking. Uh, Lou is still conspicuous by his absence. Uh, and I'm joined here by... The one-man band. That's okay. Two-man show can still run it. You know, we may not be 3MB, but 2MB, the good pieces. <laughs> uh, the good brothers. As, as the good brothers. There you go. The good there brothers. You go. Like there you go. Co-champs. Co-24-7 champs. Take that, Lou. Where's your title? You don't have to. <laughs> uh, so anyways, you're listening to TFS Pod, the few show podcast. Number one show in your heart. Number one show in your girlfriend's heart. And number one show in your dog's heart. That's right. We're taking your pets, too. Cat owners, you're next. <laughs> and uh, we're talking here about the upcoming NXT two-night event, NXT TakeOver, Stand and Deliver, hence the opener. Uh so, usually Lou would say this, but uh, I guess one man band, you t- you take the line. Go ahead. Rick Hart, get the scoreboard. All right. So scoreboard for 2021. Gosh, I kind of miss 2020 <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> Whenever oh, I, oh. I I don't <laughs> never thought I would say that, but <laughs> uh, it's currently in the lead. You've got one man band at four points, four in a row. Meanwhile, in second place, Lou with three points. I myself am in the running to slowly but surely make a comeback, you know, Daniel Bryan style. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> two points. Running me, running me. <laughs> running me, there you go. Uh, Javier, uh, J. Few, I don't know who Javier is. J. Few is at one point, and the randomizer is uh, somehow at zero points. I don't know how. Uh, with the most impressive streak of all, 0-6. Oh uh, <laughs> <laughs> can't wait to see when it finally breaks. Who breaks that streak? Um, and then everyone else is also at zero. Uh, so time to see how it goes with uh, NXT TakeOver Stand and Deliver. Uh, but we shall see. Uh now, as I mentioned, it is a two-night event. Uh, you've got on night one. Uh, let's just go through the matches as they come up. Even though there's a there's a bit we can mention debates on whether or not how how certain things go. Right. right. So first match is Pete Dunn versus Kushida in a standard singles match. Uh, one man band. You are currently world champion. So okay. you pick first. All right. Well, and this um, this one, that's, I mean, it seems like it's going to be a good match. I mean, Pete Dunn is you know the 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 bruiser weight. Uh, Kushida, I know uh, he's been doing pretty good, I think. But I, I'm going to make this one short and sweet. I think I think uh, Pete Dunn is going to win this one. Okay. All right. Yeah, I think it's yeah. pretty safe pick, you know. Good old bruiser. I hope so. <laughs> nah, what he does with those fingers is uh it's frightening. <laughs> 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 uh all right, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep mine simple too. Um peak done. I like the look of him. Cause she just got a bit of a mean streak going on. Uh he's he's looking rough and tough too. But this is this is a Pete Dunn kind of show. Um, I kind of get the feeling Pete Dunn might at some point get called up before this year is up. Maybe mm-hmm. not anytime soon, but uh, later on in the year. And it's gonna look pretty good on him. He's got to win. He's got to win this match. I think. Uh, I'm gonna go with. <laughs> I'm gonna go with. Uh, Sorry. I'm not copying your picks, one man band. Jeez. <laughs> yeah, he's copying. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Uh, I'm gonna go with Pete Dunn also. Uh and Lou is gonna go with oh right, I gotta read his picks. Hold on. 
Uh, Lou is going to go with, uh, oh, what a surprise, Pete Dunn. Aha. Bravo, Lou. Not here and, and still copying. Uh, and it looks like we got a consensus here. Randomizer is also going to say Pete Dunn gets the win. So four, four people total. Consensus. There we go. Pete, Pete Dunn beats Kushida. Oh boy, are we gonna see a trend today? This for this one too. Uh, <laughs> hey, if you get the same score as Fastlane, uh, copying copying your pick uh, seems like the safe safe way to go. <laughs> yeah, well, we'll, see. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll see. see. We'll see. We'll see. So, uh, next match for night one, as it's listed, is a triple threat tag team match for the vacant NXT Tag Team Championship. It's MSK, uh, comprised of Wesley and Nash Carter, going up against the grizzled young veterans of James Drake and Zach Gibson, versus Legado del Fantasma's Raul Mendoza and Joaquin Wild. Uh, I'm going to go first on this one. Um, they didn't get the win at the uh, Dusty Rhodes Classic, even though they were my pick, and it was a shame. Uh, I liked what they did. I liked their work. I think they're going to correct that. Uh, it's a triple threat match, so you got Legato the Fantasma in there to take the pin. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they're there for. Oh, man. Yeah, I'm just saying it. Uh, so, uh, Grizzled Young Veterans. That's my pick. Yeah. All right. Get some good right. heels. Right. That's, um, yeah. I, and you know what? I mean, this is not to, not to, not to jock off of your strap, you know, but but this is uh this is what I feel too. Like I feel grizzled young bets. I feel like should have won the Dust Classic, and this to me seems like this might be their way of rectifying this and making things right. And well, I don't know if I, I'm not I'm not gonna call if the uh, God of the Phantasm is gonna take the pin, but you know you might be right on that. One, so. I'm gonna I'm gonna let you have that one, but I am gonna say <laughs> the Grizzled Young Vets are gonna win. That I, I I feel it. I just don't think MSK or or you know these other guys are really like not. No, don't get me wrong. Yeah. I, I I liked I liked their I liked their their uh you know their feel in the Dusty Classic, but eh, I still think James Drake and Zach Gibson got something better going on. Uh, so if they're not Dusty Dusty Classic winners. Give them the titles. Yeah, I'm, I'm with it. I'm with it. I, I agree with that. All right. Now we've got Lou, who's going to agree with us uh, in what you speculated might be a trend going forward. Uh, he's going with Grizzled Young Veterans as his pick, too. Uh, I wonder if he had any reason aside from Control C for picking that, but we'll, we'll, we'll let that mystery go unsolved. Uh, the randomizer, as usual, Going with the bold picks here, saying that we're all wrong. Legato the Fantasma is getting the win. New tag team champs at Ooh. NXT. Uh, I <laughs> we'll see about that. <laughs> so I gotta say on that pick. Uh, <laughs> all right, all right. So let's do next match as it is listed on the most reliable Wikipedia page, uh, as reliable as the randomizer's picks. <laughs> Uh, next oh, match in the boy. order of uh, 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 coming up is Leon Ruff versus Isaiah Swerve Scott versus Bronson Reed versus Cameron Grimes versus Dexter Loomis versus newcomer L.A. Knight in a six-man gauntlet eliminator match to determine the number one contendership for the NXT North America Championship currently held by Johnny Gargano on night two. Woman well, man, you have the floor. Okay, so this one, I am kind of looking at these at the, the field, and I'm looking at who's held the belt already before, and in this case, no, I don't think any any none of them have held it, right? So, so yeah, or or, yeah. or who is or who's been close. I know Bronson Reed has has been in a in a, in a couple of uh, like qualifiers to see, and he's never got just come up. And so I think Cameron Grimes as well, Isaiah Swerve Scott, I believe, also was. But 
I'm going to go, I'm actually going to go with the newcomer, L.A. Knight, the a.k.a. the former Eli Drake. And uh, the reason being is because when L.A. Knight made his debut, he did say that, you know, he was going to come in and, and he was going to make a name for himself. And Eli Drake is, you know, L.A. Knight, the former Eli Drake, has been, you know, very formidable. He's been he's been around in uh, when he was in Impact, and I I want to say he won the he won the world title at one point. Can't remember. I want I I want to say that he he did hold he did hold the belt. Um, he's a good wrestler. He's a good wrestler, and and I think I think he would benefit from getting a win, you know, so that he could thrust himself into the spotlight. Um, so I'm, I'm going to go, I, I'm going to maybe do a, a hashtag bold prediction on this one and, and LA Knight, LA Knight's going to, going to win it. All right. All right. All right. Uh, so for the record, cause, cause you do, I, I got to bring this up. Leon Ruff was NXT North American champion. Uh, it, it's, it's all right. If you forgot his title reign, most people did. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but, um, Six man gauntlet in a manager match. I'm looking at some of the names. Uh, I'm not feeling swerve. There's no swerve coming. Uh, Bronson Reed. Mm -hmm. No. He was in that uh, ladder match uh, that they had where I believe it was Damian Priest uh, won the North American title uh, in that match. Uh, so Bronson Reed's had a shot at the gold. Not happening. Cameron Grimes got that new, you know, uh, game stocks uh, gimmick here. <laughs> Do the Doge coin. Doge coin. <laughs> Doge coin. Uh, yeah, he made his money off of the stock market while he was injured. And now he's going <laughs> to the moon. Um, yeah, he is. No, nah, no. Nah, Leon Roth, we're not seeing that versus Johnny Gargano again. Uh, which just leaves Dexter Loomis and LA Knight. And. As much as I don't see WWE as a place where newcomer comes in, wins wins an immediate title shot out of so many people who try to earn their stripes to get to get there, I don't see Dexter Loomis as as needing of a North American championship. So yeah. I'm gonna go with LA Knight as the winner of the six man gauntlet eliminator match. Right. I'm gonna go into night two. There we go. I'm telling you, it it seems right. I considering the participants, yeah, his his name seems the most likely to stand out. Uh, and considering that 24/7 Lou, uh, is also in agreement with us, I feel like we're 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 pretty good here, you know, because he's picking LA Knight to win the match also. And even that? more, even more reassuring is that uh, the randomizer is disagreeing with all of us, so you know we're right. Oh yeah, no question. <laughs> uh, randomizer is going to go with Cameron Grimes, hmm. which okay. is which is an interesting pick. It's an interesting pick, admittedly. Um, so we got a three to one, three to one disagreement. Uh, La Knight for all three of us, and then randomizer goes La. Uh, no, randomizer goes Cameron Grimes. There we go. Uh, so we'll see where that goes. Uh, it's a shame Leon Ruff isn't going to get a, a second title reign based on these picks. <laughs> oh, oh, boy. <laughs> we'll see. All right. All right. All right. So next up, Walter versus Tommaso Ciampa. And it's for the NXT United Kingdom Championship. I go first. All right. Which, oh, I, I remember saying I remember saying before the show that I really hoped you went first on this one. I, do, I remember, and I'm like, yes. <laughs> uh, all right, all right, all right. So, okay. so you got Walter uh, making a appearance in the states, um, and I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna put it up to travel here. I'm gonna put it up to travel here. That's what's gonna keep Walter's champion. Uh, t 
Walter retains. I'm going to go with Walter retains. Uh, big name, big match. Tommaso Ciampa's got a lot to do in NXT still. Uh, mm-hmm. He might have a he might have a call up in his future. To be honest, at this point, yeah. Um, I, uh, unless unless he's pretty much just saying no, I don't want to get called up. Keep me in NXT forever. Oh no! Uh, along alongside Johnny Gargano, but essentially, I really don't think I don't I really don't think we're gonna see Tommaso Ciampa make the jump to NXT UK. Uh, I'd happily be mistaken. But for the sake of the points, I really hope Walter retains. So I'm going to say Walter. Safe pick. Mm. Your move. Man. Yeah, all right. And God, man. We're, we're, I think we're, we're really running into a consensus for, for first night. Because I'm, I'm also in the, in the token of Walter retaining too. Because kind of in the same light of reasoning that you've been thinking about. Um, I don't see Tommaso Ciampa being a UK champion. I just don't see it. I mean, it'd be cool. Don't get me wrong, but him having to go to NXT UK, um, nah, it doesn't, this doesn't sound like, this doesn't sound like, it doesn't ring a bell. It's like, it doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't ring correctly. And like you said, I really do think that there's a call up coming for Tommaso Ciampa soon. I, I think his I think his time in NXT is numbered. You know he's been there forever and a day. Um, I think it's time they finally pull the trigger on him and and go ahead. And I I think him winning the the UK belt would actually not, you know, it it would stall a lot of things. So no, I I say Walter retains. Walter still has a a, a little bit more time. You know, with the UK belt, the UK scene, and then like he'll probably drop it maybe a few months down the line, and then maybe he'll get called up. But I don't think right now that he, uh, you know, that that Walter Walter still got a little bit more time in the next two. But Champa, I think soon he might actually be called up after WrestleMania. But it, so yeah, we'll no, and no one will survive. <laughs> no one. <laughs> no one. <laughs> Uh, he, he's got a he's got a pretty kick ass gimmick. I mean, uh, theme song. Uh, I will say. Um, all right, all right. So, uh, Lou is in the consensus with us yet again. Uh, he's gonna say Walter retains, uh, and the randomizer is. Oh, I actually don't feel too good about my pick now. The randomizer is in the consensus with us. Walter retains. Four four zero, uh, just like you. <laughs> All four of us are picking Walter, uh, so it's looking pretty good uh, with the experts and the randomizer. <laughs> the experts and the randomizer. <laughs> Must go. Oh, uh, dad, win a win a predictions contest. Then 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 we'll talk. <laughs> Um, all right, all right. So let's uh, let's look at main event match for the night as it's listed. Uh, it's Io Shirai versus up and comer Raquel Gonzalez with Dakota Kai in her corner for the NXT Women's Championship. Um, all right, I went first on the last one, so woman bam, what you, who you got? All right, uh, this one, and okay, so I am analyzing this with the lens of. Yo Shirai won the the women's title at WrestleMania last year, right? Or no, at, she won it. She won it at the pay per view, the NXT pay per view after WrestleMania in the triple threat match. Okay, against right. with with Charlotte and uh, against Charlotte and who else? Um, Rhea Ripley. Rhea, Rhea Ripley. That's what it was. It was a nightmare. So Yo Shirai is pushing right at a year of being. You know the NXT Women's Champion, and Raquel Gonzalez, you know, is a is a is a very very good talent, and having Dakota Kai as the factor outside, I don't know. I, I, something tells me, something tells me that Raquel Raquel might win it, and. Because I, I think I think the women's division needs uh, needs some new faces, 
you know, we got Rhea Ripley already, but I do honestly think that they need to get somebody else out there. And I do think that Io Shirai might be time, might be time to call her up. So, man, this is uh, this is a bold one. I'm gonna I'm gonna say it's a bold. Uh, I'm gonna say Raquel Gonzalez is, is is gonna win. She's gonna be the new champ. I am going to copy. I mean, <laughs> uh, what was I gonna say? I am going to speculate uh, that. No, I'm just kidding. All right, so Raquel Gonzalez, you know, if I'm not mistaken, got the pinfall for her team at NXT War Games uh, last year. Mm-hmm. Yes. She's been she's been protected with the whole being in a tag team with Dakota Kai. They came up short in the uh, Dusty Rhodes Women's Classic, right? And essentially, you've got someone in Io Shirai who's been champion for almost a year now, who's beaten everyone there is to beat. Uh, she's beaten Tony Storm. She's beaten. Um, I believe she's beaten Rhea Ripley in some in some sense or another. Uh, yes. she got yeah. she she got the win over Charlotte to become champion in that triple threat match because she took the title off of Charlotte. That's a pretty big deal. Um, yeah. All in all, I feel as though Io Shirai has done all she can do in NXT as as women's champion. Uh, she had a great series of matches with Candice LeRae. It's safe to say it's time for her to drop the belt. So I'm gonna agree with you. Raquel Gonzalez for the win. Mm-hmm. All right. Yep. Uh, now you got Lou coming in with a bold pick. Yeah, hold on. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Oh, wait. No. Yeah. No. <laughs> it is a bold pick. Uh, no, actually, I'd say it's a safe pick, actually. Uh, he's going to go with Io Shirai to retain. Which is, uh, it's unfortunate we can't hear his logic there. At least we know what the dice, what what their reasoning is. Uh, but <laughs> the randomizer is in agreement with him, which actually makes me feel a little better. Uh, they're gonna go with Io Shirai for the win. Hmm. All right. So oh. even two two split there. Uh, so let's go with night two. For NXT Stand and Deliver. You got first match of night two, as it's predicted, is reigning women's tag team champions Ember Moon and Shotzi Blackheart versus The Way, Candice LeRae and Indy Hartwell. Mm-hmm. And uh, you went first last time, so I'm going to go first on this one. I'm going to say. This is tough. This is tough. But I don't think it's going to be a good uh, night for the Gargano way. So I'm going to say Ember Moon and Shotzi Blackheart retain. Tough to say that because I, I could see I could see how Candice LeRae and, and Indy Hartwell will win. But I'm going to say Ember Moon and Shotzi Blackheart retain. Really? Huh. So I don't know. I. God, I got to I got to say. You know what? No, I, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go away from you. I'm gonna, I, I'm gonna be different, and I'm gonna say that the way is gonna win, and they're, they're gonna have their way. And <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go gonna a different way from you, huh? They, yeah, they're gonna go a different way from me, and they're gonna have the way. Um, and the, I, I say it because I think you know, I don't think Candice LeRae hasn't held any any gold, if I'm not mistaken, right? So, no, I, no, she hasn't. Yeah, so I say that her and Indy Hartwell might win it, and, and, and I'll have reasoning as to why later on. But yeah, yeah, I'm, just, I'm gonna go with the way. The way's gonna take it. Well, all right then. Uh, we got Lou. Oh, no, he's in agreement with me. Oh. Uh-huh. <laughs> I'm not feeling reassured by that at all. But Lou's going to say Ember Moon and Shotzi Blackheart retain. And, oh, this makes it does make me feel a little better. Uh, the randomizer is going to say that the way is going to win the match. Uh-huh. All right, we'll see. 
Yes, we will see. Uh, but that's an even 2-2 split, which is reassuring here. Pretty good. Uh, so next match, we've got Adam Cole versus Kyle O'Reilly in an unsanctioned match. Mm, okay. okay. Woman Band, you have the floor. All right. So we all know that the Undisputed Era has been essentially gone. They're, they're, they have disbanded. And, I mean, they, they had an incredible run from the moment that they started as a three, as a trio, and then Robert Strong came in. Yeah, just, just, they ran rough shot. They ran rough shot on, on, on NXT. And I think the fact that this is an unsanctioned match leads me to believe that this might be Kyle O'Reilly's night. Um, I, I, I think that it being an unsanctioned match, it won't, it won't hurt Adam Cole. You know, since since it won't count, uh, this this could basically kind of be Kyle O'Reilly's comeuppance and get revenge on on Adam Cole and you know make a name for himself. But well, further cement himself because I think Kyle O'Reilly's great. So I'm gonna say Kyle O'Reilly's gonna win this one. Kyle O'Reilly with the win. Um, <sighs> unsanctioned match. Uh, Adam Cole, Kyle O'Reilly. What do I got to say? Kyle O'Reilly's been heating it up in the whole NXT scene. Uh, he's had title matches or number one contenderships. You had... Adam Cole basically do the Shawn Michaels uh, move, uh, super kick Kyle O'Reilly straight in the face, disband the group. Uh, Roderick right. Strong is actually kind of, you know, interestingly absent from the from the whole picture here. Um, I don't think he's not going to get involved in this match. I just don't know where where he'll he'll align in it. Uh, for all I know, he comes out and beats up both of them. Um. Poor Bobby Fish, he can't be involved in any of the booking for this, but whatever. <laughs> uh, but I'm going to have to agree with you. Uh, Kyle O'Reilly's been looking, I mean, he's the, he's the up-and-comer of the group. Um, Adam Cole probably is going to get called up soon uh, after yeah. breaking up the Undisputed Era. I mean, there's, there's no more war game matches to have. Adam Cole loses, Kyle Riley wins, and there you go. You got your uh, number one contender versus Karrion Cross at the next event. Oh, wait. I gave that away. <laughs> uh, yeah. Kyle Riley wins. Kyle Riley wins is my pick, so I'm in agreement with you on that one. Uh, oh, right. Lou is going to disagree with both of us because he says Adam Cole for the win. Baby. Uh, and the randomizer, uh, which makes me feel a lot more comfortable with my pick, is going to say Adam Cole wins. So uh, best of luck, Adam Cole. <laughs> Adam Cole. Uh, Adam Cole Sloth. <laughs> the one side nobody wants but still gets. Ooh. I don't know. I like Cole Sloth. No, I like it too. I like it too. That's just. The, it's just the internet meme. Um, just a, just a bad right. pun. Uh, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. So, already almost halfway through night two, uh, and we're going to have our first moment where we have a TBA involved in a match. We know how that usually goes. Yes. Uh, and I'm curious, I'm curious what you're going to pick for this match because it's Johnny Gargano versus the winner of the Gauntlet Eliminator match, and you did hint at why why your reasoning for the way winning uh, would come mm-hmm. about. So I yes. imagine it's related to this match. With that said, Johnny Gargano versus Gauntlet Eliminator, I'm picking first. Uh, I, I, in my booking, have not shown any real 
championship changes except for the main event of night one so far. So I'm going to say, I mean, I don't really count the tag team match because it's for the vacant titles, but I'm going to say this match, TBA gets the win. I did pick night, uh, LA Knight to win. I don't think it's too much too soon. Johnny Gargano is a great, great superstar. Uh, he'll put, he, if he could put Leon Ruff, if he can lose to Leon Ruff, there's no reason why he can't lose to LA Knight. <laughs> no, that's, I'm in agreement. I'm in agreement. <laughs> um, so, yeah, uh, I'm saying TBA wins. Uh, if it's not LA Knight, maybe, maybe. Maybe I'd be less confident, but I looked at the I looked at the battle royal winners. I'm saying TBA gets the win. Right. Woman man, what's your pick? Listen, that's uh, pretty much exactly what I was thinking about because I, I I felt like they just don't want the way having all the titles in this case. So if I see that the way is gonna win the the, the NXT women's titles, then Gargano has to drop it. And listen. Gargano's been the NXT North American champion three times now. He's he's the only he's the only dual or he's the only two time champion if I'm not mistaken, and he's the only three time champion. So, I mean, there's no reason for him to hold it. You know, he's he's held the belt so many times already that a loss is not going to do anything to him. Like he's bulletproof at this point. This guy. This guy can can put over anybody, and he proved it, like you said, with Leon Ruff. And there's no somebody way formidable in this case. Which, if we said LA Knight is gonna win it, and I think LA Knight would benefit greatly from getting a a a, a North American title rub, and you know, propel him forward. And Johnny Gargano, you know, might possibly get called up. You know, I think it might be time. You know, they he's been in NXT with Tommaso Ciampa forever now. I mean, crap, when they were DIY together. This was back in 2016, I want to say. It's been a while. It's definitely it's been, been a while. while. In fact, the the people the the, the people that they that they battled in one of the in the pay-per-views that they had a- AOP and AOP's gone <laughs> they went to the AOP. main roster and then left <laughs> and they left and and they're still there and they're still in NXT so these guys AOP got called up had their run at, at, at in uh in in the main roster horrible they sucked and they're gone and these guys are still going so that's just supposed to show you how long they've been around. Oh, they're but, cornerstones to NXT. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And and rightfully so. They're great. But it's time. It's time to, you know, let them let them move on. Let them move on and let them let them do their thing. And I say Johnny Gargano drops the belt to TBA, which I expect it to be LA Knight, and we'll move on from there. All right, all right. Uh Lou and the randomizer agree. They're both going with TBA as well. Uh, in the, in the case of the randomizer, uh, even though even though the, the the official pick comes as a TBA, no matter what. In the case of the randomizer, um, they're picking Cameron Grimes to become NXT North American <laughs> Champion, which I'm not gonna lie, is a pretty funny image. <laughs> Uh, so way to go, randomizer. Way to go, randomizer. Always good for a laugh. Uh, Baron Corbin is WWE champion. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> All right, oh, next boy. match. Next match. It's uh, current NXT Cruiserweight champion Jordan Devlin uh, versus interim NXT Cruiserweight champion Santos Escobar in a ladder match to determine the undisputed NXT Cruiserweight champion. Uh, well, my band. All right. What do you got? Uh, uh, if I'm not mistaken, Santos Escobar has been an ex- uh, cruiserweight champion before, right? Yes. Yes, he has. Okay, so this is this is Jordan Devlin's time, uh, first time 
holding the belt, right? Um, if I'm not mistaken, Jordan Devlin won it in the fatal four way. Okay. Uh, I he's listed he's listed as NXT Cruiserweight champion in this match. So he's but, but he probably was out with injury, so they put Santos Escobar as the interim NXT Cruiserweight champion. I really ah. should have picked up the the information on this match. So ladder okay. match. So ladder match, they both have a cruiserweight title. It's the determined undisputed cruiserweight champion. Oh wow! So uh, I imagine is, there's going to be two belts up in the in the oh, thing. So, so this is shades of WrestleMania 10 with uh, Shawn Michaels and Razor Ramon. Yeah. Uh, ladder match. Major event. Yeah. One of them's pretending uh, to be Hispanic. I mean, pretending. Well, no. Well, one of them might be already Paul, but <laughs> but uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna say the fact the fact that the fact that Jordan Devlin was injured. And at Santos Escobar as the interim in the meantime, I think this goes to show that like they had enough stock for Jordan Devlin to be okay. Well, I guess when you come back, we'll we'll let you be the undisputed one. We got you covered. We got you covered, brother. So I'm gonna go with Jordan Devlin that he's gonna be the undisputed uh, cruiserweight champ. So yeah, Jordan Devlin for the win. All right, all right. Uh. I am going to go with the uh, very brave prediction of agreeing with you (laughs) 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 and say Jordan Devlin wins. Um, He wasn't my pick in the Fatal 4-Way when he originally won it, um, but I liked his work. Uh, That that British kid's got something to him. I don't even know if he is British, but, uh, you know, I like the name. I like the look. I like the feel. Santos Escobar is he, he he served his purpose. Uh, I do have a raised eyebrow because it is a ladder match, so you're you're bound to see his goons get involved. But yeah. I think it just it just tells a better story for Jordan Devlin overcoming the odds. Uh, mm-hmm. So I'm gonna say Jordan Devlin, uh, undisputed cruiserweight champion, and Lou is going to. Agree with us. He says Jordan Devlin wins also. Uh, wow. Meanwhile, you've got the randomizer saying Santos Escobar, undisputed cruiserweight champion. So three to one, as usual, randomizer going going all out with these picks. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, Newsflash probably won't go well for the randomizer. <laughs> all oh, right. Boy. So... Main event time for night two. Uh, I can't believe I got to go first on this one. Jeez, why am I getting all the hard matches to be first? <laughs> why isn't Lou here? <laughs> He's got to be somewhere he in the corner, be. hiding somewhere right now. <laughs> like he in a little sound be. booth. He, he, is it a sound booth like my plan is going according to plan? <laughs> 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 I'm going to be second place. <laughs> He's like, oh, my gosh. <laughs> Meanwhile, at the Legion of Doom. <laughs> all right, all right. Finn Balor versus returning Karrion Cross, who has been returning from injury for a while now. Uh, <laughs> uh, along with Scarlett, who... Oof, on point, on point there. Uh, I remember I remember when uh, Karrion Cross debuted, I said, man, Mark Romero looks amazing. <laughs> oh my god but uh i'm gonna go with it look finn balor the prince he uh, uh, he's beating everybody there is to beat um carrying cross was clearly supposed to get rocketed uh to the to the spot of nxt champ and stay there he didn't because of the injury it was unfortunate mm-hmm. Uh, normally, WWE doesn't reward people who get injured. However, Karen Cross took his time coming back uh, to the main event scene. He's been in the shadows waiting. They've been teasing it. They waited for a big show. Uh, and I'm not talking about Paul White here. Uh, they waited for yeah. a major event. Um, so, uh, not a lot of title changes in my booking. I'm going to say Karen Cross, your new NXT, Cruiserweight, uh, NXT champion. 
<laughs> you an NXT champion. Uh sorry, Finn. You'll 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 make for a good number one contender in a rematch somewhere down the line. Yeah. And I am going to make the bold italicized prediction of a dream with you. Oh, um, wow. Damn, I was really yeah. getting excited, too, because I was like, oh, yeah. man, I feel really confident about that point. Sorry, sorry. No, I actually, I, actually, I, I actually was planning on picking Karrion Cross as well because, like you said, Finn Balor has been Finn Balor has been on NXT now. It's been a year, hasn't it? If I'm not mistaken, Balor's undefeated at NXT Takeovers. No. Yeah, it's, it's time. Comeback. It's, it's time. It's time. Uh, Finn Balor, you know, he's been he's been the champ. I mean, he he has nothing to lose on this point. You know, like he has nothing to lose from this. And it sounds like it might be time for him to go back, maybe go back to the roster. Um, oh, 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 I wouldn't go that far. I wouldn't go that far. So? <laughs> I, I wouldn't know. go that far. Vince, Vince ain't going to treat him well. No, well, I mean, you never know. I mean, he, okay, he might he might have one more rematch. He might have a rematch and then lose and then maybe get called up. I, and, I think I think NXT I think NXT wants to have cornerstone talents there, and if they're going to take Gargano and Ciampa, they got to keep somebody there who's a good hand. Uh, right. Balor's that good hand, at least. That's a good point. Multi-time right. multi-time NXT champion. Uh, he'll keep everybody steady. He'll be someone to have a rematch with Kyle O'Reilly down the line. Kyle O'Reilly never did win him. Uh, I think Balor's got a good home there. Uh, it, it's too much. It's too much moving around for Balor. Not not yes. a lot of moving around for Cole and the others though. So it might be time for them, but I don't think Balor's going back. Okay. Not, not that makes sense. Now. That's my logic. I could be makes wrong. sense. I, I, I mean, could be wrong I about Balor going wrong. back to the main roster. Not about the pick. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. There you go. But yeah, I, I I'm gonna go with Karrion Cross. He's gonna win. And and. Um, like you said he was injured for a good while he 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 lied in wait and waited for the right time to come back wwe pulled him a solid and and seems like they said all right we're, we're gonna hook you up and you know i i think i think this might be his time plus you you wanna you wanna have a you wanna have a, a, a climactic moment for for uh NXT to close out, especially one for WrestleMania weekend. So, I think that would definitely do it. Okay, easiest way, easiest way to to garner interest: title change. Right, it's an automatic headline. Uh, all right. So Lou is gonna go with the brave choice of agreeing with us. <laughs> I I don't know how many times he's. I want to review this after the after after the recording because uh, I'm thinking he copied all my picks. But <laughs> uh, Lou's gonna go with Karen Cross as the win uh, and new NXT champion, and uh, Randomizer is gonna say that the person not uh, in a relationship with Scarlett Bardot will win. Uh, that being Finn Balor, uh, who retains his uh, winning streak. Hmm. Uh, which is an interesting pick for the randomizer, predicting that uh, Finn Balor's winning streak will continue. Uh, yeah, uh, it's a good thing the randomizer hasn't predicted uh, your winning streak to end one man band. Because mm. it's not going to happen. <laughs> if the randomizer predicted it, it wouldn't happen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but all right, all in all, solid picks. Uh, one of the things that's going to be interesting is uh, after night one, who's going to be in the lead? Uh, we, yeah. we did a lot of consensus stuff there, but it'll be interesting if somebody has a lead after that one. But uh, we shall see. Uh, and I think to close out the show, I think uh, I think there's one question that needs to be asked. Uh, and what is that? What do you think we're more likely to see first? Uh, the randomizer getting a point on the predictions uh, contest or Lou coming back? Yeah.